Okay, welcome back. Um, we're going to do the image planes now. I've set them up already um, for you to have a look at. So there we go. We're going to basically do this. So the front view is going to go along the the axis there, and that's in line. So that barrel is in line with that. So our model will end up appearing along here in the centre. Okay, to set this up, um, I've actually created. Well, what we're going to do is that's the end result. This is what we're trying to achieve simple gum where we can then place some texturing on so that's what we're trying to achieve I've created two layers down here we'll get onto that in a minute but I'm going to start with a blank sheet I suggest at this stage before you've even done any work that you save it so go to file save and then call it template .ma file which will save it in your scenes folder make sure it's in your scenes folder okay the first thing we're going to do is create the polyplanes so go to polygon hit the polyplane and drag that onto your layer and come over here make sure that you've got this channel box open and so you can see a little bit of what's going on here this gives us size etc of everything and set this width and height at 1 because we're actually scaling it now coming to here, into the top bit, which is the plane 3 section, yours might say just P plane. <coughs> I've created a couple so it adds a, a 3 on the end. And um, just change this to 24. There we go. And set the translate to 0 and the X to 0. That will center it all in the middle. 0 is creating that because the... Um, the uh, the actual point of it is in the middle it translates everything to the zero position which is dead in the middle okay we've created our plane now so now we need to put the texture on it so let's go to rendering and create a Lambert shader come into the Lambert shader click the little checker make sure that your um, it's a normal and not as projection or as stencil and we go and we locate, if you check this box, image name, there's a little folder, click the folder, find your James Bond gun JPEG and open that and then close. And now, if you can't see this because it's grey, it's probably because you've got like wireframe on, so you need to come to here, go smooth shade and then you need to go down and make sure hardware texturing is checked. And now if you look, we can see that that's our image there. So we need to rotate him now. So if I go to the rotation tool and just flip him up on this axis here, the X axis, and then in here, don't tip it all the way, just type 90 into rotate on the X. And we're also going to translate it back in the Z direction to negative 12. This will push it right to the back. Okay, now that's done. That one's set up. So now I'm going to click the object and I'm going to press Control D, which is a shortcut command for duplicate. Then I'm going to drag this forwards, and then I'm going to rotate it around the Y axis, and then come into here, and as before, type 90. And this time I want it to rotate back along so that it's at the edge here, which is the negative X axis translate. So minus 12 there, and rotate that back. Now while we're in this view, I'm going to come into the side view now and just blow this up a bit and move it so that this is in the center of here. That's good. Okay, I'm going to come back out and I'm going to select them both now and I'm just going to move them down so that the barrel is on the cross so you can see it that side so they're both selected I'm just going to blow up into that window so go over it and press the space bar and just get it so that it's nice and centered in that which it is roughly in fact that one can move a little bit be careful that you're moving both of them you want them to both be to both be moving at the same time you don't want one higher than the other and one lower so just make sure that they're all they're all centered and that's it really um, except we just need to create a layer to put them on so that uh, they're not going to get in our way 
So what we need to do is come down here and where you've got layers you need to create a new layer. Double click that and then just call it template. It already exists that name, you might have to call it template one or something. Just do that. Okay, now I'm selecting both of these and I right click down on this template and go add selected. Now you'll find that you can turn them off and you can turn them on and you can also put R so that they're reference. And now I can't click these but I can carry on working and I can put the gun in there and everything will work fine. So okay, once that's all set up then we'll move on to actually modeling the gun which is the fun part. So I'll see you in the next lesson.